I'm going to spend some time talking to you about a couple of things that I said would happen and are now happening. I was mocked and ridiculed and called a racist and a Nazi myself for telling you that Nazis were going to reappear, that the old hatreds of, the, uh, of Europe in the 1930s would begin to reappear, and you would see the same fight. Well, the Nazis have reappeared, but so far in very small numbers. But the communists, the revolutionaries, are literally everywhere. Can you imagine if we had uh, somebody taking the stage today saying, and here we are, imagine, we're all national socialists. How great is this? And people cheering, can you imagine what the press would say? Well, we have an international socialist. That's a communist. National socialist is a Nazi. An international socialist is is a communist. Same basic philosophy. One just says workers of the world unite. The other says workers of Germany unite. They both believe in taking over the world. They both believe in shooting anyone who disagrees with them. Now, I don't believe that most people who are, uh, well, let me just say this, 30% of Germans voted for Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party. 30%. I don't believe all 30% that, that voted for Hitler believed that he really was going to kill all the Jews. All you had to do is read his manifesto, Mein Kampf, and you knew. He said it all there. Everything he said, everything he did was there, but the people of Germany didn't take it seriously because it was insane. Bernie Sanders and his people are talking about an end to the American Constitution, an end to American capitalism, an, Amer an end to the way America has always been, an end to it. They are talking now about, this is not a battle just about uh, Donald Trump or the Republicans. This is a battle about the Democrats as well, because the Democrats are not socialists. They have been playing footsie with socialists, but they're not socialist revolutionaries. Barack Obama was a socialist. Barack Obama was a Marxist. But Barack Obama knew you have to drop the radical pose for the radical ends. So he got in with the Democratic Party, and he just kind of infiltrated with Bill Ayers and all these people, and they just got in, and then you started to see the corruption of this is when they became, all of a sudden, the, the Jews were not welcome in the Democratic Party, all of a sudden, you, you start to see people like AOC pop in. That's because the socialists got in and began to eat. Bernie Sanders has eaten the Democratic Party. And it is about to eat America. If you happen to say, I can't vote for Donald Trump... I'm not going to argue with you. I could point out a million reasons, and I will as the campaign goes on. But you have to make your own decision. And I know people that say, I just don't like him. Okay, fine. You don't have to like him. But look at the policies. Well, I just think he goes off, you know, half-cocked. Fine. Don't you go off half-cocked with faulty information and vote for a socialist revolutionary. Barack Obama was a Marxist that became a progressive. This is a Marxist that has been a revolutionary and will always be a revolutionary. Anybody notice how he doubles down on his love for Castro? He's not denying it. He's not going to play the progressive game. Why? Because you know what? You have to crack a few eggs to make an omelet, and he's willing to crack your eggs. So I told you, if you accept this from Barack Obama, imagine the next person that they will run. And look who it is, Bernie Sanders.
People, as we showed you on our special last night on Blaze TV, if you're not a subscriber, you need to be a subscriber. I showed you on my special last night, Bernie's, uh, Bernie's Radicals. Um, what they're now saying, the people inside the Sanders camp say, we can't believe we're here. Four years ago, we were nothing. Eight years ago, nobody wanted to say they were a socialist. Can you imagine where it will be in four years from now? Yes, I can. Can you, America? Let me show you something that is unbelievable that happened last night from one of the main speakers at a Bernie rally in South Carolina. Listen. How does it feel to be a bunch of radicals? Huh? A bunch of, a bunch of revolutionaries. A bunch of socialists here in Myrtle Beach. Okay, he's not mocking that. He's not saying, hey, how's it feel to be a bunch of deplorables? He's actually saying, we're out in the open. Do you remember when I told you? They want to tell you. They're begging for the fight. They want to tell you. And someday the mask will come off and they will say it. Yeah, because capitalism doesn't work. Damn right we're socialists. They're saying this in the best economy and, uh, and uh, unemployed or employment rate in 50 years imagine how this will ring true to so many people when they're hungry because the economy turns i told you that they would unmask that these things would grow and anti-semitism would grow well look at bernie sanders Bernie Sanders says Benjamin Netanyahu is a reactionary racist. Who believes that? Netanyahu has been around for how long? He's a racist, a reactionary racist? When he first came in and America didn't know who he was, maybe you could say, oh, well, he's going to get them all killed. He's going to get everybody. He, he's going to march off to war every time. He's a reactionary racist? Where does that come from? Well, probably from the two communists. Uh, there's three of them. We pointed them out in the special last night. You can watch it on demand right now at blazetv.com slash Glenn. Uh, we pointed out the three people that are head of his foreign policy of his campaign, the campaign manager, the head of the foreign policy, and Bernie's speechwriter, all massive anti-Semites, massive. And don't take my word for it. Look at the evidence. I mean, I don't have to defend myself and tear apart the evidence. Sh show me where I'm wrong. Show me where their resume is incorrect. Now, let me give you some other, some other numbers now to show you, please listen. When I said this, I was going to say I had my gut, but I didn't. I had God. And I was told, I feel, to warn you. And no, God doesn't single me out and doesn't talk to me like, Glenn! It's a feeling I have. It's a, it's a voice in my own head that we all have. I just choose to know I'm not getting that information from me. I wouldn't have known that stuff. I wouldn't have known about the caliphate. And yes, I do believe God talks to all of us. Some of us refuse to listen. Some of us deny his voice. I'm grateful for where I am. And I mean that as a human, as soul. I know what he gave to me. I'm willing to do what he says. So I told you. I also told you and tried to prepare you for a time when Jews would be persecuted again. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Really, is it? One in five Europeans now, according to a new survey, one in five Europeans have kind of a different response. This is 16,000 people in this survey. A quarter of respondents agreed with the statement that Israel's policies make them understand why people hate the Jews. That's funny, because that's what people said. That's what Roosevelt 
your beloved Democrat said about the Jews in Germany when the rumors were that they were being liquidated? Well, they brought it upon themselves. Congratulations. Congratulations, world. We're, we're graduating back into the class of 1938. More than a quarter concurred with the statement that Israel is engaged in legitimate self-defense against its enemies. More than a quarter. But a quarter of respondents disagreed, and 46% had no opinion. More than a third agreed with the assertion that during World War II, people suffered just as much as the Jews. And another disturbing update on what's coming our way. Germany has overturned the ban on professionally assisted suicide. Remember, Germany had kind of a problem with doctors going bad. And so the Germans have always felt, hey, let's make sure that doesn't happen. And maybe doctors shouldn't be the one, you know, pushing death. Well, they've overturned that now. They say that really our doctors can decide and our doctors should be able to help kill people. Spanish Carnival is in trouble featuring lingerie clad female Nazis with whips. Uh, doing some sort of S&M dance with Jews in sequined uh, Holocaust clothing. A bizarre, bizarre uh, tribute, said the city. It was a tribute to the Jews in the Holocaust. Uh huh. There was also a gas chamber float. Who doesn't think that's good? There was a, ja a gas chamber float with a giant Hebrew menorah lamp between two chimneys. Auschwitz tweeted, this is hard to describe. Memory is upside down. Is there no reverence, reflection, or respect?